so here we have a vanity that the drain pipe has come off so when you use the tap over here the water just collects in the basin itself and it's not draining it starts leaking out the sides so this is just a tutorial on how to fix that and put the drain pipe back in so I've gone ahead and screw here and um, I have confirmed that the pipe is not connected you can see here is not connected so I've just gone ahead and um, put a crocodile clip here with the wire so it doesn't get lost in the sink in the cavity underneath so just to go ahead now and undo these plastic nuts over here one here there's one on this side it's hot glued in so it doesn't turn so we'll have to break that hot glue and um, unscrew it and take off the sink and this is the drain pipe that's that has come out and it's not connected anymore so the water is actually coming down here and running at the back and falling in the front gone ahead and remove the plastic nut from here and I have to take off this metal support in order for me to take this metal support out I have to actually take the whole shower head out the shower fitting and same on this side I have to take the tap fitting. I have to unscrew this big nut here to get all these metal supports out and a good thing is just to mark it left and right just put some marks so you know which way the metal goes back in so now I have just taken out these metal pieces had to take these supports out to get those out from here and you can see these are the two plastic threads that hold the basin on the sink so what you'll have to do is just push on it gently push on this and pull on the plastic a little bit in order to take the sink off So as you can see I've managed to jam my hand in between the sink and the side of the vanity while pushing on the back threads of this thing, so at the back here I was pushing with my other hand to release the thread One of the screws had come out as well, so I'll have to put that back in here. That I've taken the sink out, um, you have to clean the inside of this pipe. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt in here from toothpaste and soap, and the part that goes here. You have to wiggle it all the way here and bring it to the side here. You might need a long screwdriver, some tweezers, nose pliers to help you wiggle it all the way here and just shake it around. Shake it around and basically get the drain pipe over here. So this is the bit that's come out. So you can see it's just been hot glued from factory to this pipe here so what we'll have to do is clean this pipe up here and here and re-glue it with some better glue re-glue it back and once that's done let it dry and then you'll have to wiggle it all the way from there back to here and then you can go ahead and put this with the screw back in place over here so I'll go ahead and clean this up clean this up
and as you can see on this drain pipe fitting this old glue which was just hot glue hot glue gun was used here so just pull it off just put a nice strong glue of your choice I'm probably gonna use a product called Aerolite which is a two-part glue you mix the hardener A and B and it sits like plastic so I'll go ahead and do that now. So as you can see I've put the glue now, I'll just let it dry and then we'll come back to it later on. Now that I have glued the pipe in place, I can go ahead and reassemble the drain. So basically there's a rubber gasket here on this sink that's separated and it's fallen down so I've just relocated it. So I'll just go ahead and put it back together, it's quite tricky. So now I managed to wiggle the drain back into place here. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the rubber gasket now and um, then put the strainer in. It will take a few tries to get this straight and um, for the screw to pull it back into place but eventually you should get it it might take a few tries so I'll put the drain back into place um, with the help of um, some number 8Y or GRY just put it through here into the drain hole um, pulled up on it while with my other hand I got the screw and the screwdriver and lined up the hole and um, eventually got the drain screwed back into place with the rubber gasket underneath. Now I'll just go ahead and um, put the sink back together. So there's two plastic washers that go here. So these two plastic washers and on the other side the screw actually came out that holds the whole basin in so I'll have to put it here and back into place and put the nut on the other side So before putting it back together, I'll just do a test with the sink and make sure the water's actually coming out of the drain and the pipe hasn't come off or anything like that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's working perfectly fine.
full so we're good to go now I can um, put the metal brackets back in place and put the piping back in place and um, we can go back in the van and remount it in the van So here I have now completed the sink. Just give you a quick rundown at the back here. Put the plastic nut back and I've hot glued it as this is what they've done from factory so the nut doesn't open. Put the shower head tap fitting back in. I've done a, a dry run um, with the drain. Poured water down the sink. Made sure that the water was coming out of here and it wasn't leaking into the basin itself. Put the tap fitting back in place and also another good thing to do is connect all your water pipes back up check that it doesn't leak before screwing it into the wall make sure it's moving nice and freely Nothing's getting caught at the back. Also over here I had to make another support plate. It got a bit fragile and it chipped off. So this tap wasn't looking good over here. So I cut another piece of plastic, mounted it here and glued it into place just to give it extra strength. So yeah, now I'll take it to the van and we'll fit it back in place. Before pushing it back into place, connect up your drain pipe, your hot and cold water lines. Connect it up to put your water pump on, open your tap, the air comes out of the system and then close the tap so it pressurizes. Just check around your fittings for any leaks here, over here, and also just check the tap itself over here, that there's no water leaking from anywhere here or anywhere basically just have a look that it's not leaking once you're satisfied that there's no leaks then you can go ahead and push the cabinet back into place so i'll just go ahead and do that now So this is the complete sink um, put back in place. Tested it and it's working perfectly fine. The drain is working as it should. Pipe is retracting as it should as well. Not getting stuck. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope this was of some help to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. Thank you.